thousand years. So here come the brothers coming to Egypt again, that they might get food and bread and things because they have ran out of it. Not even recognizing Joseph when they got there. Amen. So that dream that Joseph had, it came to pass. It came to pass. And he got to the point that when the brothers, when he revealed himself to his brothers, they got fearful. They thought Joseph was operating like they did. And Joseph said, I'm not God. But you all meant for evil, God turned it into my good. That was the moral, that was the outcome of that whole story. This week we're going to deal with another. Patriot, we're going to deal with Moses. We're going to deal with Moses this week. And you should have before you, everyone had this week's study yet. It talks about understanding the purpose and power of prayer. This, this study sheet here Back in the line with the 
guitar or the pen. Amen. Now these are the falling or results of these laws, which is established by God Himself. Listen to this. The legal authority on earth is in the hands of humankind. The Creator, because of His integrity, will not violate the laws of His word. Just talk about that. Nothing will happen in the earth realm without the active, passive permission. Underline that word right there. Well, this. You got some preachers that will stand up and have to stand up on the head if you read this one. Of the passive permission of man, who is his legal authority? Not because man is so good, but because what? Because integrity. God has to remain in line. He has to stay in line with himself. That's what holiness means. It means to be integrated with oneself. It means that his private behavior must be the same as his public behavior. And his public behavior must be the same as his what? Private behavior. That's what it means to be integrated. That's where the word integrity comes from. Integrity means this. It means to have a set line and be down and you know that. That's integrity. People say you don't have no integrity. What they're saying is you don't have a set line of moral conviction that you won't go below. You know, someone walked through might laugh at this person doing this and doing that, but then all of a sudden there comes someone crippled that comes through there. And this person that you were laughing with before, they'll start mocking that crippled person. You say, oh, I don't go there. That's the line of integrity. But your line of integrity should go up even higher and say, I'm not even laughing at nobody. See what I'm saying? That's what integrity is. It means to have a set standard that you dare to go below that. Understand? God has a high standard of integrity. He wouldn't even come into the earth and fix it because he had already spoken in his word. I give them a high level of integrity. Stand there and watch your child on the cross dying. But in the end, all you had to do was snap. It's everything. The creator and the heaven beings cannot interfere in the earth realm without the cooperation or permission of mankind. That's why when you go into the scriptures, you read, he says, he give angels charge concerning thee. Concerning. Concerning thee. Means that you have to invite them. God sends them and dispatches them according to your prayer. According to your prayer. This is what this, this book understands. It says that earthly license for heaven's, heavenly interference. Earth gives heaven permission to do what it do. It's a quote that says this. He said, without God, man cannot. And without man, God will not. Without God, man cannot do nothing. But without man, God will not do nothing. You're going to see through this word tonight. We're going to tap into it, Pastor. We're going to Way the Lord put this together, I was in my sleep and he started bringing this to me. I didn't incorporate this through Moses. Amen. God must obtain the agreement. Another word agreement. God must obtain the agreement and cooperation of a person for whatever he what? Whatever he desires to do in the earth. That's some deep stuff. But we're going to see it through the word tonight, Mom. How, how, these, how this is so true. If you would over here at, at, at uh, Exodus chapter 3, we'll start at verse 